the site is a community first and a social network first. So videos become a major form of self-expression for a lot of our users. And so the user generated piece will always be an important piece of that because we make it really easy for any of our members to shoot video on their own and upload it to their pages, share with their friends. And while you know not all those videos get huge numbers, they they provide a, an important service and a tool for our you know millions of niches that that go on on the site and really help make us successful. Um, and and you know I, I think it'll continue to be a big part of it. But again, being and wanting to be a platform of choice with respect to video, we want to make sure that with the user generated video, we complement that with a bunch of uh, content that we licensed from. Um, more uh, recognizable companies, whether it's studios, networks, or smaller players, as well as uh, our originals, to really create that, that menu of opportunity and choice for the user. This is their home. This isn't a stop along the way for them. So it's a really important distinction to make where other video sites, people come just to check out a video and they're gone. This is where people spend a lot of their time. And so I think what you'll see in, in, in the coming year is us continue to focus on making video personal and making it accessible from a community basis. Uh, one of the things um, we're doing is there's a subscription feature which allows you to subscribe to your favorite channel and on your user homepage right next to where you get your friend requests and your new messages, it'll say new videos. So it'll allow you to stay up to date with your favorite content partners. When you upload a video or you favorite a video, all your friends find out about it and that allows a, a viral marketing element because you're more, than, more likely to trust one of your friends and what they're watching than just a, a random uh, recommendation. So I think that you'll see a continued push and combination of content and product to really make it easy for the user to find what they're looking for, to share what, they're, what they find and to express themselves via video. And, and Jason, one last question. In terms of uh, uh, you know content creators, you know independent filmmakers or smaller product marketers or others who want to get their videos propagated on MySpace, uh, how do they go about that? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. If there's a real formula, but um, maybe you can explain sort of sure. how how videos become virally successful on MySpace. Sure. Well, I mean, I think that it's it's not a uh, specific recipe. It's it's a kind of a bunch of different ingredients that go into it. A lot of that is the content itself, if it's buzzworthy, if it's funny, shocking, entertainment, not too long. I think that that really helps push things along because if you think about the size of our site and you know five people watch it, they send it to five friends and so on and so forth, it can become a big hit really quickly um, just within that uh, community itself. Um, obviously, uh, you get out of it what you put into it, so the more attention you pay to your profile page and communicating with your friends and their friends and your overall network to let people know what you're up to, I think that also helps push things. And then we have a, a bunch of people that are constantly scouring our own site looking for great content that we can showcase because there's nothing better than to showcase a user um, who's who's working hard and using our tool set and, and creating some exciting stuff and I think it's mutually beneficial because we're pushing out exciting content and I think they love to get that that opportunity of recognition.